All right. Well, this is the video to show you how to install mud flaps, or at least how I installed them on my car. Uh, I've actually put them on this side already, so we can see there is the one on the front, and then here is the one on the rear. So on this side, I don't have any mud flaps yet, which uh, is something I certainly need. <laughs> Out here in the ranch, it's uh, it gets really dirty and muddy, and as you can see, the car's already quite dusty after less than a week. So I ordered these mud flaps. These were recommended by a few people. These are the Basinor mud flaps. Here is the front one. It'll fit on the car like this. And then the rear one is here. It's a little bit larger. They gave you instructions here, uh, which is why I have my glasses on, so I couldn't read them. And so I already did the other side. Let me show you a little bit about how I do this side. So the first thing we're gonna do is flip this wheel so we have space. Um, there's two items right here, these two tabs. If you put a flathead in here, you can pop this loose, and this comes out. They give you another set that'll go in there, and then the other one is a little twisted. So you can kind of turn it with your hand because there's only one spot where you can put this in and pop it out. You'll see there's a little indentation in there. Um, there we go. So we'll pop that loose. And then what happens is this fits up in there and we have their own set of uh, tabs to go in there. And then they have a clip. Oops. Well, we'll edit out the drop. I dropped the phone. Well, that, here are the tabs that go in there. So there's two pieces. You can see there's an inner piece and then there's a piece that goes inside it. So what we'll do is we'll stick this in here and then we'll take this other piece and we'll put it in there and push it in there. There we go. So that's one. Let's get a second one out of here. So we'll wiggle that in slightly. It's pretty easy. And then we'll stick this in there and that's in there. And then there's a spot here for a clip. So what we want to do is they give you this clip a metal u-shaped clip what we want to do is get it in there behind this there's a little ridge in here so we'll get it behind there and we'll push it in and that holds in there and so now I've got a mud flap on this side which hopefully will keep some rocks from coming up and hitting the car um, you know as we drive along this gravel road so let's look at the rear now so for the rear I also need a 10 millimeter uh, socket here and then we'll take our flap. So the rear goes, obviously in the rear of the car. If we look down here, there's a bolt. Then there's an opening here. This was open on the other side. This might be for drainage, I guess. I don't know, I hope so. Um, I'm assuming it's not a problem. We remove this, and then what we'll actually do is remove these two tabs, and it'll fit here, and it'll catch on this screw right up here. There's a screw there, it doesn't have a bolt on it. So let me uh, take this down, and I'll actually let's set this here for a second. Well, we'll edit this out. <laughs> All right, the rear is on. Uh, I had a little trouble. One thing you know, if the holes aren't lined up and you push through hard, you can snap one of these pieces that slides into there. Uh, we got both of those in there. We got the clip on. However, we don't have this bolt on. And the reason is that when I actually, um, let's flip this around, when I actually went to unscrew it, uh, the, the bolt broke loose. And I pulled off some of the, uh, once those clips were out, that came from Tesla. I pulled out the liner and I could see that the nut inside there had broken loose. I think on, it's glued down and then you screw into it, but they didn't use enough glue on this side. So as soon as I started to turn it, it popped loose and then the bolt just free spins. Uh, I don't think there's a problem with that coming loose because the bolt and the nut are still tight there, but uh, can't get it out. I thought about putting a wrench in there to grab it and then loosen it, but then 
I wouldn't have a way to actually uh, put the wrench back in there when I had the mud flap on. So in any case, uh, the mud flaps are on. Um, they don't add a lot to it. You can just barely see them in here, but uh, hopefully they will help us out. So there's uh, the first accessory we've put on the car and <laughs> we'll see how the rest go.